everybody, Dr. Lisa Thompson here of DrLisaMThompson.com coming to you live from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. And welcome to another edition of The Doctor Is In on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. And I'm so excited to be sharing with you today some really cool strategy to follow up with your leads on Twitter. This is something that I believe is going to help you not only be more efficient with your active prospecting on Twitter, but it's also going to give you more targeted traffic, leads, and you're going to be saving your time. You're going to be efficient with your time. So we're going to wait for a few minutes, or a few seconds actually, to uh, let people get on the live stream. So when you come on, what I want you to do is I want you to state where you're from, who you are, and I'll give you a shout out. Now to always make sure that you are on when I do my live streams, what I want you to do right now is just click on the upper right, right hand corner of your screen where you see the notification button. And when you tap on that button, what Facebook is going to do is whenever I go live, they're going to notify you. That way you and I can interact in real time. Now what I'm going to be teaching you today is something very very simple and this is great for uh, home business owners who have a full-time job and you have a very busy life outside of work where kids are you're taking your kids to different uh, extracurricular activities or you belong to some other things and what I want to be able to do right now is share with you how to follow up with your leads that are on Twitter. Now last week we spent the whole week talking about how to set up Twitter and using it as a place of sifting and sorting. And that's what the purpose of Twitter is, okay, for Twitter marketing. And for people who are really busy, this is a great way that you can still actively prospect, especially when you don't have the time to devote to it. So what we did is if you remember, we had two apps, two tools that we talked about, Status Brew and Tweet Jukebox. Now, with Status Brew, what Status Brew allows you to do is it allows you to, when anybody follows you, you can send them an automatic message, which will either be, uh, you can put publicly, where it will be on the Twitter news feed with a mention, or you can send a private message. I do both. And then Tweet Jukebox is where we upload value content tweets that are going to solve a problem that your market has. And you're building rapport, you're building relationship. Now, when we talked about with Status Brew, when you're sending a direct message, we told you to put a question to, a, to the people who immediately follow you. And the question was, do you use Twitter for personal or for business? And the reason that we ask that question is, is we again want to sift and sort and we want to spend time with people who are truly interested. So if they're business owners and your target is business owners, this is going to help you. Then you can weed away all of the other people, you know, if they're personal. You don't want to spend as much time with them because more chances are they're not going to be interested in what you have to offer and if you're going to be your primary purpose is to get more reps into your business you're looking for business builders who are actively looking or who are in a business and maybe need some help getting leads themselves so that's what we're doing here so what you need to do right now with uh, Twitter and we're going to be talking about what happens when people say they're using Twitter for business or for both. This is the next step that you have to do. I'm going to share with you another tool that you should have in your arsenal for Twitter, and that's Hootsuite. Now, you only need to use the free version. And what I would suggest that you do is you log into Hootsuite with your Twitter. And then what you're going to do is on Hootsuite, you can add various different Twitter streams. So I would suggest that you would put up your, you know, and going from left to right, you're going to add your Facebook direct message 
inbox stream. Then you're going to have your mention stream, your retweet stream, and your like stream. And if you need help setting that up with Hootsuite, you can go on uh, you can Google it or go on YouTube, and it's it's very easy to set up. And the reason I want to use Hootsuite for the direct messages, if you tried to do this with Twitter within the Twitter um, site itself, it only will show just um, a limited amount of messages. See, what's going to happen is when we talked about how you want to work up to following a thousand people a day, when you break down the numbers out of those thousand people that you follow per day, you're going to get about 200 to around 300 followers back within a 24 hour period. And within that 250 to 300, you're going to get roughly, I would say, about 25 to 30 that will actually respond back to your direct message. And out of those 25 to 30, you're probably going to get 8 to 10 who are going to follow you with the next step. Hi, Teresa. Glad to have you on the show. So what you're going to do is once you have Tweet Jukebox set up, okay, you're going to go through the direct messages and you're going to find the people who are saying they're using Twitter for business or for both. Now this is the purpose for what you're going to do for following up. The goal is to get them to interact with you on Facebook. That is the objective. You want to take the conversation away from Twitter. Hi, Junie. Glad to have you on the show today. And you want to move them to Facebook. And the reason for that is that with Facebook, that's still the number one social media network out there. So that can give you an idea of how, you know, you can get a little bit more um, idea of what they're doing, um, personal life topics to cover, you know, how are they marketing their business? You can get a really good idea from that. Not only that, is uh, Facebook allows you where you can inter make the interaction a little more personal. You can do a video, face-to-face -face private message video. You can do it through, um, like you're talking to someone on the phone. You can do that as well through Twitter, so or Facebook, excuse me. So what you're going to do is the, you're going to kind of customize the message based on what they're telling you, and you can say, would you be interested in continuing this conversation on Facebook? If they say yes, then you're going to initiate sending them your Facebook uh, personal, all right? And just make sure you have the follow button Init, you know, set up on your personal. And then you're just going to tell them, hey, follow me on Facebook, you know, and can I have your uh, Facebook personal? And see what you can do there, and this is really cool when you, when you do the follow, is that when, that when they hit that button, they can still read and send you private messages on Facebook. And that way you can save your 5,000 Facebook friend requests for people, you know, like if you really develop a good relationship with them, then you can maybe add them as a friend. But if they don't have that follow button set up, you can, you know, send them a, a Twitter message and say, hey, I noticed you didn't have your follow button set up. Do you know where that is? And you can teach them as you're talking with them on Twitter. And that way you're still providing value. Once you get them to Facebook, then you can start asking them more questions. And you, you can go through your prospecting routine, um, that'll kind of business you out, okay? So when you're talking with them on Facebook, you're going to wait for two things. When do you present, all right? When do you think that they're ready to hear what you have to say? There's going to come a point in the conversation where they're going to either do one or two things. They're either going to confess something or they're going to complain about something. So when you get to that point where it's a confession or a complaint, then you can start asking them more about the business and you can then pr present, you know, whether you want to get them on your list, okay, or you can get them on your newsletter or you can offer them a training. So that's the way that you want to do that. And see, if you're actively prospecting, 
you know, and you're short on time, this is a great a time saver. Leverage Twitter. Twitter's the ultimate sifting and sorting tool. You know, one of the challenges that many people have when they go into Facebook groups is, you know, they they have to spend time warming people up to talk with them. But if you're taking, you know, and you're following the automation that Twitter gives you in sifting and sorting, you can find the right people that you can set up conversations with. Remember the relationship marketing funnel that I've always talked about. When people are who they you know, um, they're initially going to follow you on Twitter or on whatever social media network, they don't know who you are. They're really cold market. And so when they start to follow you, they're gradually getting warmed up, okay? And a warm market means that they somewhat know who you are and what you're about. So if you're reaching out to them and you're starting positive conversations, what's going to happen is that's going to warm them up where they can be a hot prospect. And it's through that relationship building that you're going to get very targeted leads and are going to lead to a targeted sale, whether they're going to join you in business as a rep and business builder, or they're going to be a loyal customer. So that's how you're going to follow up with people with Twitter. Are you getting value today from the show? If you are, I want you to leave me a comment below and tell me what your thoughts are of this strategy. I think it's one of the most brilliant strategies out there, and I have to give props to Twitter marketing expert Terry Grimaud for teaching me this. Now, I want to end this session today by giving you a heads up about tomorrow night. The other person who's responsible for helping me really build my Twitter following is another Twitter marketing expert, Adam Chandler. And Adam tomorrow night is doing a free training. This is a live webinar where he's going to break down the latest updates going on on Twitter and how you can leverage these automated tools to get as many as 12 leads per day reaching out to you on Twitter using this whole automated system. There's some uh, new changes coming up, especially with Tweet Jukebox. I know that Adam's been on top of it, and so he's going to be sharing a lot of these updates tomorrow night on this Twitter training. And if you haven't been um, on a, a training by Adam, you're really in for a treat. This guy really breaks everything down simple. He's an excellent trainer. He's fun to listen to. And he's going to give you some major takeaways that will really help you grow your business. Now, to get on that training tonight, or for tomorrow night, what I want you to do is go to webinar dot drlisamthompson.com. I'll say that two more times. Webinar.drlisamthompson.com. Webinar.drlisamthompson.com. Fill in your information, register, and then make sure you arrive 15 to 30 minutes early to assure your spot. The last time Adam did a training, I kid you not, this was back in March, we literally had to turn people away. They had over uh, 800 people at the webinar, and some people could not get on. And it was a very popular training. They even had Adam come back for Q&A, and they still had the same problem. So make sure that you get on, and don't. Get, and that way you're not going to get shut out from the webinar. There will be no replay. I'm going to tell you that right now. And... What I want you to do is once you've registered, make sure you reach out to me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook, and then send me a Facebook message request telling me you're going to be there because I'm going to be there tomorrow night taking notes, and then you can ask me any questions during the webinar training, and I can answer them for you as well. So make sure you register tonight. And if you haven't done so already, you know, click on the notification button up on the right-hand corner of your screen. Hi, Ashley. Glad to have you on the show. And that way you will never miss another live show of The Doctor Is In, which is always Monday through Friday at 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central, and 1.30 Pacific. So with that said, 
Have a great day, you guys. Enjoy the evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow, and make sure you register for the webinar.